Hello everyone and welcome. Today we'll be learning how to make these inspirational, eye-catching and impressive gift banners for your SharePoint site pages. They can be tailored to any industry that you work in and they're really beneficial for motivating staff because you can edit the text here that's relevant to your organisation. So here you can see I've created this gift banner that rotates and this is for an artisan food page for a restaurant industry. Here we have the gift banner for the aviation industry. And for global offices, you could use cityscape images. The prerequisites you will need to build these gift banners are that you will need to have your SharePoint communication site open, logged into with your admin user credentials. You need about four to six images that you wish to use to create your gift banner. And you will need to have signed up and logged into about.easel.com. If you haven't heard of Easel, then it's a drag and drop design tool that is super helpful for empowering your team through designing and building creative visuals. Now, I'm not an ambassador for Easel. I just really like using the software. And lastly, you need to have open in your browser, giftmaker.me. So let's get started. The first thing I want to say is that you don't have to use easel.com to edit your banners. You can use any other editing software or you can simply use Word or PowerPoint. But I've chosen to show you this in easel because I really like how simple and easy it is to use. Plus the, pack, the basic package is free, whereas some people may not have access to other editing software that charge a monthly subscription fee. So I have my four images ready. I've logged into Easel and we are ready to go. So the first thing we need to do is we need to click create design. We need to go view all. We need to scroll down to digital screens and you can choose between landscape nightlife or landscape TV. Now, the reason why we need to choose either one of these is solely because our SharePoint banner dimensions are 16 by 9. That's full width. And the pixel measurement of that equates to 1920 by 1080 pixels. And if you look here, you'll see quite faintly that these two digital screens fit those um, dimensions, those measurements. So I'm going to click um, Landscape TV. Now we scroll down, we click from blank, edit design. So here we have our canvas. You will see that our dimensions are the ones that we want. So we don't need to edit anything there. Firstly, we need to upload our images. So you need to go to images, upload, upload here and then select from your folder structure, your four images or your six images that you want to use for your design. I already have mine here, so we're gonna go straight ahead into this. So once your images have uploaded at the bottom here, you can choose your first image. There we have it, I simply just clicked it. I'm gonna now fill the entire canvas. There we go. You can crop it here, but what I find with easel is that it's quite tricky to guess where your canvas starts and ends. So you can give it a try and click crop. If it doesn't quite work, I found that it's, it's fine to just leave it as it is. So there's our first image. We're going to add a new page and we're going to add our next image. And we're going to do this for all four of our images. Okay, add a new page. Yep, and then our last page is going to be this one. Okay. 
Let's move that up a bit, make it fit there. Okay, quite like that. So let's go back to the top and now we want to insert our text. So we click text, we click and drag, and we type in our first piece of text. Nutrition. Okay. So now we want to change the colour of our text. If you go up here to the left, you have two template colours, black or white. Um, and you'll see that e Easel is very cleverly picked out the colours of your images. So if you like any of these colours, you can select those. You can always also pick from the colour palette here. Or if you know the hex code of the, the colour you want, you can just paste it in there. But I want this nice big yellow, bright yellow colour. I'm now going to set the font size to 40 and that's how I, I want it to look on my SharePoint banner. A little tip, don't set your font too large. So at the moment that looks quite small but remember it's going to be stretched onto your SharePoint banner, okay? And you don't want it looking ginormous on your screen. So 40 is quite a nice font size for your um, banner itself. The good thing about easel.com is that you have all of these options here. You have some logos you can choose from that you can add in. You have photo grids that you can pick. There's also some icons. Some of them can be a little bit basic, but some of them are really helpful. Some shapes, but the one I really like is borders. So if I scroll down, I'm going to pick this yellow box and I'm going to drag it over. I quite like that to frame my text. So I'm going to make it slightly bigger and then reduce the height. Right, now to ensure that the text doesn't bounce around your SharePoint banner, it's a good idea to ensure that you stick within the grid lines here. So as I move this around, you can see the pink grid lines. And there I quite like it, it's central and it's in vertically aligned. So I'm gonna leave it there. I'm gonna go to layers. I'm gonna select nutrition. For those people who are familiar with Photoshop, you'll grasp this layers quite easily. What you need to do for everybody is you need to drag that nutrition up. That now places nutrition text in front of your box. So we can now move it. So I'm just gonna move it central to the yellow box. Love it. Okay, so what we're gonna do now is we're gonna select nutrition. I'm gonna hold down the shift button on my keyboard and I'm going to select the box as well. Now, pressing Control C, I'm going to copy that and I'm going to scroll down, unclick. So now we're on this screen. You can see that by the blue dot. I'm going to press Control V and it's pasted. Let's go down and do that for the others. Perfect. So we just now need to edit the text because we don't want nutrition on, the, on every page. So let's put fresh there, artisan. Okay, and last but not least, revitalize. Brilliant. One thing I want to change that's a really good tip for you is, as you can see here, the artisan um, square and the text is sitting over the image. You may like that, you may not. If you want to change that, the, the way to do that is to click your image there and you can flip it. So you can flip it vertically or horizontally. I quite like that. Now it's easier to read. You could try that with this one. I don't know how that would look. No, it's better as it is. Great. So that is all finished now. What we need to do now is we need to go to download. With Easel, you can download in JPEG, PNG, GIF, or MP4. I'm gonna download in PNG. 
Now you're probably thinking, Lauren, why aren't you just gonna download it straight to GIF? The reason I'm not gonna download it straight to GIF is when you click GIF, you will see down here, you get the option of the speed. Now this is the speed that it's gonna change as it, it flicks over on your SharePoint banner. And what I found through um, trial and error is even on a slow setting, it's still quite fast and you can't read the text. So by downloading it in images, you get the images first, and then we're gonna put it into GIF Maker to create the final banner. So let's download those. We've got all one to four pages. And that's gonna download at the bottom here. Brilliant, there we have it. We're gonna open. I now want to extract all. And we have them there in our file structure. Next thing you wanna do is go to gifmaker.me. So upload your images. There they are. Open. Takes a moment just to download, sorry, to upload. And they appear. You can see they're flicking through there. We now need to change the canvas size and you can see it automatically change it to the pixel dimensions we need. We now need to set the animation speed. You can change that by toggling using here, or you can set the speed by typing in the number. I quite like 2500 and you can see the speed, how quick or how slow it's gonna change there at the top. You can also set how many times you want this to repeat. You can set it to one, two, three, if you leave it at zero, it's just gonna do an infinite loop. I'll leave it at zero. You can upload some music. However, for the purpose that we're using this for, I wouldn't really recommend uh, music on your SharePoint page because that's only gonna irritate your users. So let's just leave that blank. Now we're gonna click Create GIF. That just takes a moment, it's quite quick and then you want to download the GIF, okay? Once you've done that, we're all ready to go. So we're gonna create our new page. New page. I'm gonna go for blank, create page. And you're gonna name your page. So for this one, I'm gonna do the artisan food. In here, we're gonna add our image. We need to go to our Let's go with that one. There it is, you can just pause and check it flicks. Yeah, add image. And there we have it, it's uploaded. Within SharePoint, you can choose how you want your title area to look. You can have image and title. I wouldn't recommend leaving it as plain because that gets rid of it all together. You can have color block or overlap. I quite like color block. Now with the focal, Aim it at the text, because then it's not gonna bounce around the screen. Brilliant, that's it. And then we just click Publish. You don't need to do anything here. Close that. There you have it. So what you have done there is you've created your banner and using Easel, using GIFME, GIFMaker.me, and you've uploaded it to your SharePoint banner sorry, your SharePoint page to create your banner. Um, that is an, a creative and effective way to build inspiring and impressive and eye-catching GIF banners for your SharePoint site pages. 
I look forward to seeing you soon. If you haven't already, do like that button on my video and do subscribe to my channel. That way I know that you want me to carry on creating more videos. Thank you so much and I'll see you very soon.